says, yes, we're doing this. College videos. <laughs> I recently committed a gal attack <laughs> and I thought I'd make videos to help my fellow STEM kids, algebras, other nerds apply to college. Let's start with my thoughts on college advice videos. I love YouTube and I watch a lot more YouTube than the recommended amounts. So naturally when it came to college stuff, I went straight to YouTube. And it was a great, great help. Just knowing that other people out there are going through the same sort of stuff that you are applying to college really helps, you know what I mean? But I really do believe that there's a way to approach these videos. I'm not your key to Caltech and I don't have all the answers. I just have my experience and a bit of intuition that I'm more than willing to share. There's a billion other people out there that are getting into the best of the best colleges and just not making videos about it, which is cool. That's chill. You just have to know that it's possible that everything I'm saying applies to you or nothing I'm saying applies to you. Hear me out, but take everything with a pinch of salt. Pre-reading details. I'm an Indian student applying as an international applicant from India. That went round round. I applied to Caltech in the RD round and by some miracle I got in. <laughs> I'm the first from my school to go to Caltech and I am trying to share my experience the best I can. I definitely do a lot of other videos for stats and extracurriculars, but I'm doing a common app video right now because I just feel that the earlier you start thinking about your common app, the more comfortable and satisfied you'll be with it when the time comes to actually submit it. I obviously had a lot of STEM experiences across my extracurriculars and you'll have videos on those very very soon and I'm fairly certain that they have a much bigger role to play in your application than um, your essays and um, so that's why the goal of my common app was to point out something about me that my activities or school specific essays just didn't show. Um, when you pick a common app topic, people tell you to write about an experience or quality that's unique to you. I think a more pragmatic way to approach it is to write about something that you won't get a chance to write about anywhere else in your application. And, uh, that usually means something that isn't major specific or in your ECs, but that's not necessary. As an aspiring computer scientist, my love for music and my cultural upbringing was something that was getting left out in my application, so that's what I chose to write about. Okay, let's start reading. Fast car plays, the long and winding road on the Ohio coastline. Next up, sunny afternoon. The charming Florentine woman's divine homemade gelato. Now, Bleecker Street, the unceasing buzz of Greenwich Village. I wouldn't say this about anything else in the essay, but a strong hook is essential to a good common app. You need to get the reader's attention. 650 words is a lot, and the last thing you want is for them to doze off at the very beginning. If, it's okay if there's a lack of clarity like there is with my essay, but start strong. As I flipped through my playlist, I was reminded of how music can distill the soul of a city, the histories and mysteries of its inhabitants, districts, of every alley and corner, from where it came and where it's going. While music transported me from the forts of Jaipur to the backwaters of Kerala, an emptiness lingered. No strong strengthened my connection to the very place that cultivated me. What song represented New Delhi? Here, I sort of built the conflict. The problem I'm addressing in my common app is very simple. Having travelled to many places and associated many beautiful songs with each of them, I didn't have music that connected me to my own city. Clearly stated, but without losing any of its innate complexity. At that moment, I resolved to harness my experience as a singer-songwriter to fill that void. Striving to recollect every nook and cranny of my childhood meanderings, I placed my hands on the piano, expecting melodies to emerge from memories. But as I pressed my fingers against the grooves of the keys, the weight of the task I had undertaken pressed back. I, an infant in the eyes of a millennia-old city, was attempting to chronicle it. As I strung together chords in arpeggios, I heard the city's murmur punctuating the phrases. Every piece of the deli I knew clamoured for attention, demanding to be included. The resounding calls of street vendors the cathartic reverberation of temple bells, the hums and honks of rickshaws weaving through narrow streets. 
Throughout the week, I collected these sound samples to intersperse into my music. Then, I reached out to local instrumentalists. In each recording, I explored new ideas with the artist. Through the flautist's interlude, I reminded my listeners of Delhi's mythical past and innate simplicity. With the Shehenai, an ethnic woodwind, I evoked a sense of celebration. And finally, with the sitar, I revealed how Delhi symbolized love and peace in divided times. Listening to the completed song, I waited for the brief but overwhelming crescendo, which brought together the sounds of the city and instruments of its heritage. I realized that by composing it, I had not only learned about Delhi, but also captured what the city had been trying to teach me. Throughout its history, Delhi had been raised to the ground several times. In the song's climax, I could feel the city showing me how to pick myself up and start over. Every time the robot I had been working on for months crashed and fell apart, every time the muscles in my arms screamed at me to drop that 80 kg weight, and when I kept hitting new obstacles, I remembered what Delhi was trying to tell me. Stumble, fall, repeat. I think a thing about my common app that um, is worth pointing out is that in this part, I take the reader through the process I went through, which sort of gives insight into who I am and how I approach problems and things that I set out to do. So this is something you can very easily do with your essay. Use a weird medium like a song about your city to bring out qualities that you have or lessons that you've learned in your other activities. I think that um, I think that really helps sort of give you a com give a complete picture of who you are while still helping you stand out. Like the strings of the sitar that individually reverberate but sing in harmony, every Dilliwala, every alley, every neighborhood had its own stories to share. With the, when these identities, backgrounds and beliefs come together, they form something greater than the sum of their parts. Fellow coders on my hackathon squad, the multichromatic voices of my singing group, the disagreeing scientists of my space settlement design team. I, like Delhi, strive to gather diverse perspectives and people to produce beautiful, even awe-inspiring things. And so it was with my collaboration with the instrumentalists. I could have never created a melodic microcosm of the city without forming a collective of artists. Nowadays, when I flip through my playlist and stumble upon Fast Car or Bleecker Street, I smile as it occurs to me that Simon and Garfunkel or Tracy Chapman hadn't just captured the story of a lonely road in New York or a young Ohio couple. They had encapsulated a part of themselves into their music. No matter what form, every time I create, I find a piece of myself in my work and the work adds a piece to me. That's what makes it all the more magical. Strong start and strong end made even stronger by connecting them strongly. Conclusions are usually a pain to write, but I think the easiest way to conclude strongly is to connect it to the introduction, which like we discussed has to be a strong one. If you're wondering where the song I talk about is, well, it's on my SoundCloud and I'm not particularly proud of it, but it was meaningful to me when I started out and everything I'm saying in my common app is stuff that actually happened when I was trying to make it. To conclude, here are some things that you should be taking away from my essay. Empathy. Everyone goes through struggles with essay writing. Take your time to watch a lot of Common App videos and feel inspired by all the amazing people on YouTube sharing their lives. Stylistic features. I think my essay in particular was very exuberantly composed. And I'm not saying that this is the only way to write the Common App, but at least for me, I think it takes exposures to a lot of styles to be able to develop and perfect your own. Take conscious note of what you appreciate about my essay. If you did. It's okay if you didn't, I think. Third, don't compare it to your own. Man, I can't emphasize this enough. I cried so much after watching some of these videos on YouTube. Mom, I have no purpose. I'm a meaningless blob of carbon compound that has none life experiences. No, you will not do that. You are you and you write about you. You write like you and I write like me. That's just how it do be. And lastly, anything is possible. Just be honest with yourself. I was hard rejected from my dream school while I tailored most of my application to Stanford. Does my common app make you, make you think of Caltech at all? No, not at all. Because it doesn't have to. It has to make you think of me. It's all about you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed reading my essay. Please do comment below what you thought. Like the video, share it with other high school people who you think this video could help, and subscribe for more stuff.